What you see here is an example dashboard we put together to really tackle the objective of focusing on micro KPIs throughout the wells. Uh, so you can imagine this is an example dashboard really focusing on like well performance, you know, averages, really focusing on those micro KPIs. So not so much at looking at the fleet, um, which that can be done in another, another session. What you're seeing here is basically like what is happening with a live well you know, as we're drilling. Uh, each of the different rig state pie charts are you know, put together automatically from Corvus activity detection. So then all of the micro KPIs that are generated are generated from that activity detection and then contextualized um, in each of the whole sections. You can kind of see that here, you know, production lateral, curve, intermediate surface, as well as by day and night crew and even individual driller. Um, for instance, if you want to see just, you know, quick little snapshots, say, hey, what are our feet per day for this, this for the well average? If you want to look at different whole section at times, um, all that can be extrapolated into these, these clean little dashboards, as well as if you want to go into individual BHA runs or say last 24 hours. So that's really nice because you make these dashboards focused on the KPIs that the customer is really wanting to benchmark and improve. Uh, for more things, so this is an example uh, application called Rig Operations, where you can actually view those micro KPIs. So there's quite a few here. I have the weight to weight detailed selected. So what you're seeing is all the, mic the, the com these stacked bar presentations um, of the connection time. So the X axis here is the measure depth of each of those connections. Uh, y axis is the amount of time it took in minutes. Uh, if say for instance, I want to then focus on say the lateral hole section, I could quickly toggle that. Uh, or even if I want to look at say the intermediate, you can go through those. Um, I want to focus here on the intermediate because this really shows where there's a lot of back reaming. So the bottom to slips time here in green at the bottom uh, where my, my cursor is. So this really is representative of how much time they're spending from the time they pick up off bottom to the time they actually go into slips. Pink here is the time in slips, green time once you uh, kick your pumps on uh, and start you know, taking your survey then wash down and finally once you actually start tagging up. So what you're seeing here is I've now full screened this and I'm only looking at the intermediate hole section. So mind you, every one of these connection uh, times are gonna update automatically, um, you know, basically within real time, within maybe a second or so from the time the operation is actually conducted. Well, let's talk about goal setting. How do you set incremental goals and track yourself? So looking at all those, I can now draw in a distribution plot segregated by day and night crew. I also have examples by individual rig crews. So what I can do right here is say if I wanna set individual goals, say for my you know, day crew, I can see their 50th percentile, or P50 is right here at about the eight to 8.5 minutes. And I can also toggle on the night crew average and see basically where each of those stand. So now I can then go through and set an incremental goal. In this case, I'm targeting P25 performance of about seven minutes. You can set those goals within the back end for all users or even individual users can set their own goals. So now I can track these times um, against my goal as well as the average and then the rig teams are then able to see as soon as they make their connections, where we fast or slower about the same, really driving performance and really fits in well with continuous improvement methodologies. Uh, been very widely used. Uh, this is an example down here of how, uh, say when we have the drill crew information, so in this case, I have four different rig crews put in. Uh, I also have a goal, a company level goal. I can also put in a personal goal, which I have here. And through a quick little toggle switch, what I've been able to do is, that, first off, I've adjusted the bin size to now 15 second bins. And now here I'm calculating invisible lost time. And what this is doing is tracking all of this time here to the, basically the right of your goal and then totalizing it for you. So in this case, if I want to focus to individual rig crews, I can see here in pink that my D crew is lagging a little bit further behind. Well, especially right now in the industry, we're seeing um, a lot more green hands on location. This is expected. This is probably one of the newer crews and this is probably where you can spend more time uh, spending working on iterative safe goal setting uh, and then working through processes. So we can see right here, if all these outliers were able to be you know, trimmed in to the company goal, um, we have 226 minutes um, well average. And say if I wanted to just look at one whole section, I could do that and say, hey, we've got 27 minutes of opportunity just from standardization. So a really good way to do some quick you know, analytics um, and to look for invisible lost time, uh, it's been very useful. Uh, very similarly here for the uh, RRP performance tool, so basically day and night uh, or individual rig crew ROP performance uh, in each of the whole sections. Um, so just kind of a good quick check on, on how the teams are doing. Um, just a nice little snapshot. The other tool that's been very popular, especially uh, in our offshore players is uh, you know, really focusing on tripping speed standardization. So in this case, really focusing on the case toll tripping speed. So what this tool is doing is it's automatically calculating the running speed for every single double or uh, stand of drill pipe or even quads if you're running those. Uh, everything that's run in the hole, in this case, say I'm looking at all the different active VHAs that run in, I can also do the same an analysis for uh, every casing string that's run through. Basically anything that's Derek conveyed. 
Um, and what you're seeing here, blue, this is your tripping in speed. And then yellow here, this is your tripping out speed. This little gray background here indicates cased hole, while this little black background here indicates open hole. Uh, I also have connection times while tripping toggled off, so you can really focus on your running speeds or your raw running speeds for every stand that you're running in. In this case, I've also turned on the four rig crews. So if I wanna look at how each team is performing, I can do that. Uh, so you can view this graphically if you wish. We can also toggle this over into a table view. Uh, so you can then start looking at your crew averages. Uh, with just a click, I can toggle on the connection times. So this adds into the amount of time. So instead of just looking at start depth versus end depth and then dividing by you know, the time, this is adding in the time of each of those connections. So you can get a more, more of a gross time instead of just more of an active average time pulling. Uh, and then you can see how that that's kind of, you know, runs here for the individual rig crews, as well as cased hole and open hole averages. So it's been very popular. Um, also, we have the same uh, goal setting here. So if you want to put in your own goal lines or goals, uh, you can track yourself against those. For more of the executive views, what we have here, um, what I'm presenting here is called our well objectives tool. And what this is doing is giving just a quick scorecard um, focused on the micro KPI. But you can see up here, I also have four different offset wells that I've loaded in the system. So what is happening is that I'm doing a comparison of all these. So if I want to target P20 performance, basically how does my live well compare against the offset wells P20? Say if I want to just go for consistency, let's target P50. So now I can do entire well average for any of the Corva KPIs, uh, or I can even break it down by individual whole sections. So that way we can track ourselves at a glance. So this is very good at showing you leading indicators um, of delays or of future performance. Um, so you can kind of see how you're tracking um, actual times versus your target. Um, and so if there is anything that kind of, you know, shows a risk of, like, of a delay, um, that's, you know, available, that you can kind of see that here at a glance. Uh, we also um, include box and whisker plots so that you can see where your target is against your median and um, also within your range from your offsets versus your actual. You can see how you're comparing against uh, those others. So a very powerful tool, very clean, um, and it's been used um, and with a lot of drilling managers and those at kind of a higher level. So implementing a workflow like this has been very powerful and very popular, uh, especially with the drill crews. Once you get them bought, bought in, um, they kind of can take the reins, control the narrative themselves, uh, and they really move things forward.